Hi guys. I'm uh, today. Today it's a very special day. I'm here in the car with uh, my friend Sony, and uh, we're driving. Say hi, Sony. Hey. <laughs> and uh, we're driving uh, to a, a very nice place. The weather is shit. We're in Germany, but uh, it's a good day nonetheless because today I'm going to buy a Lamborghini and um, I'm very excited uh, it's a, a very beautiful car and uh, it's been tested uh, fully and uh, it should be okay um, so um, later on Sony is going to film uh, me making the deal but I would love to share uh, uh, more about uh, the deal um, it's uh, it's uh, quite a special time to uh, actually buy a Lamborghini today considering that uh, Bitcoin markets uh, and um, NXT has uh, gone down a lot so obviously I'm not buying that with uh, um, with uh, tremendous Bitcoin or NXT profits uh, but uh, I am able to buy it thanks to having made those profits and um, today of the past year I have been like uh, the profits that I had taken out um, I put it into gold and a permanent portfolio and then the past year I've sold these investments again uh, for Bitcoin and NXT but now um, I've decided to not put everything into a crypto but also into a piece into a Lambo in a Lambo which uh, is um, uh, well uh, it's not gonna make me money but it's gonna um, uh, be very very enjoyable um, so uh, uh, what can I tell um, yeah I wasn't able to buy this with Bitcoin um, because well you know I like a good deal and the best deals are not available for Bitcoin um, uh, uh, but I hope in the future to be able to uh, buy this uh, these kind of uh, pleasant toys for uh, with Bitcoin um, but yeah that I will I plan to do if Bitcoin uh, and NXT goes up Bitcoin to hopefully around three to four uh, around 4,000 uh, US dollars in the next bubble uh, currently it's at $240 um, uh, so that would be a 20 folding about uh, at that point I am now preparing much better than in the past to buy big uh, them with Bitcoin um, uh, <coughs> hopefully uh, another beautiful car but also uh, real estate I haven't bought any real, real estate and I really want to um, diversify into real estate also nice real estate not to rent it out but just for myself so that uh, if later on crypto uh, fails that I do have uh, a nice condo to liquidate so that I can uh, 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 support my life um, so yeah but can we tell more about this Lumbo Sunny? beautiful drives fast yeah 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 well later on I uh, will add also the video how it looks but um, yeah, I'd like to share more about uh, the process of buying such a Lambo because um, actually it's a, a gorgeous car uh, but it looks actually much more expensive than it truly is so I'm going to pay uh, 70,000 euro um, which is um, I think a really a, a great deal this is a second-hand car it's actually pretty old it's from 2006 but you wouldn't say so it looks really moder modern uh, but actually yeah, today this car is about uh, 2015 now so uh, that's uh, about eight years old um, it has 40,000 kilometers on um, New these cars costed around 200,000 uh, at the time and today if you want a new Gallardo because it's a Lamborghini Gallardo Spider it will cost you also around 200,000 uh, but this second hand 70,000 this is the cheapest available like normally you would buy around 
pay around 100,000 uh, but yeah I'm really yeah for me that's important uh, that for me uh, I having a great deal it's not just buying what you really want it's also buying what you really want for a great price and uh, I love that that I, I was able to find that uh, with this car because um, uh, well normally um, if you pay like the cheapest price which is around 70,000 euro uh, then you would um, end up with um, a car that has a lot of kilometers normally it's about 70,000 kilometers but this one is only 40,000 kilometers and also something I don't like about the interior uh, is about these cars is that the interior looks wear, wore down or looks a, a little bit old uh, from these cars 2006 till 2008 uh, cars uh, but here the interior has been totally renewed it's only one year old and so it looks like from the most modern uh, Lamborghinis this interior it's Arcanta leather or how do you call it? Arcanta? Uh, it's very beautiful it's really soft um, and um, so that's something uh, I really like um, also the, the GPS has been renewed uh, the, the standard GPS from, at the time from Lamborghini does not have Bluetooth but this one has which I of course find very important to have my uh, the songs that I really love in my Lambo uh, and also um, uh, it has also an, uh, an extra woofer subwoofer and uh, so you really have really high quality sound a good bass with a, a, an extra receiver uh, so so that's really great yeah Sony is a little bit uh, ill uh, uh, he has uh, the winter. Uh, what is it? <coughs> flu? flu. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. So, um, um, but I'm so 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 happy that I can buy this Lambo. It's really a major milestone for me because uh, I only bought one car in my life, which was Opel Astra. I paid five thousand euro. I bought it from my brother, and I had it a few years, actually five years or so. Yeah, last year I sold it for 200 euro. It was a total piece of uh, crap. <laughs> crap, crap, crap car. I had really abused it. I'm not gonna abuse this one though. Um, though I am going to use it as a daily driver. I don't have another car. So I'm gonna, uh, I plan to use this a lot, which is perfectly possible with these cars. It used to be that Lamborghinis were exotics, but in such a way that the interior was not that great, not practical cars and uh, a lot of maintenance problems but these days Lamborghini has been bought by Audi and uh, the Gallardo was one of the first cars that was designed by Audi so the, actually the techniques are very high quality uh, and then the look, uh, because it's all Audi uh, but then the looks are really exotic because it's all Lamborghini so uh, and it is four-wheel drive um, uh, and so it's much safer also than uh, for example I drove the Viper uh, in the US and uh, that's a great car but it does not have ABS no ESP only real wheel drive I mean you lose and uh, very wide tires and you re it's very very dangerous to drive such a car but with the Gallardo they really adopted a new philosophy they were a little bit tired of having all these uh, rich spoiled brats crashing into trees with the Lambos and so they made it a lot safer starting with the Gallardo uh, but I, some versions before already and the four-wheel drive is a, is a big thing I really like that you know people that like to drive cars sometimes they complain that they want just a real wheel drive because then the car is lighter and uh, it feels more, uh, more fun to drive but for me uh, safety is more important so I am really happy with that uh, four-wheel drive system uh, and the ESP and ABS on it uh, though you can deactivate it uh, and then you can really like drive uh, sliding through uh, corners uh, so that's also possible uh, the only drawback of such a car is of course that it really uh, 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 it's, uh, it drinks a lot of petroleum uh, it's about uh, uh, on average about 20 liters per 100 kilometer 
So, and in here in Europe, that's a pity, uh, but uh, there's a lot of taxes on petroleum, so, but luckily oil prices are pretty cheap uh, these days, uh, in contrast to what peak oil people have predicted. Oil is cheaper than ever before, and uh, currently $50 a barrel or so ends up being um, uh, about uh, one euro, um, what is it now, uh, 40 or 50 for a petroleum, because that's like uh, one euro taxes and half a euro for the petroleum, you know, so one euro and a half per liter, which ends up being, if you consume 20 liter per 100 kilometer, that's about 30 euro, 40 euro per 100 kilometer, it's quite a lot of money, I, 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 normally you can really drive diesel cars here, which will consume around 6-7 liters per 100 kilometer, diesel is considerably cheaper, so you end up paying like 8 euro per 100 kilometer and with such a, a supercar Lamborghini you end up paying 30, 40 euro per 100 kilometer. So that's the drawback. But on the other hand, buying such a Lamborghini here in Europe is a lot cheaper than in the US. If I would want to buy a similar uh, Gallardo Spider yellow, it's gonna be a 2006. I would pay at least $110,000 and since the dollar is up now in value that would be around uh, 95,000 euro uh, so I'm able to buy one for 70,000 euro and that's of course because um, because well it's just supply demand um, I think um, just the second hand market is not as good here in Europe so you can't get as much money for uh, your Lamborghini um, but also on average the mileage is a lot higher for uh, what a European cars oh, we're driving here on the highway in, in Germany and uh, as Sony is pointing out a car here in the back here an R8 an Audi R8 which is uh, actually a, a model very close to the Gallardo Spider uh, and the design actually inside is very close it's actually the same engine uh, and it's considerably cheaper an R8 you, you can buy for 100,000 a Gallardo uh, for 200,000 and basically you're just paying for the name and the looks so much more but for me that's worth it because for me I really have with the Gallardo Spider <coughs> the Lamborghini Gallardo Spider I really have this feeling like, wow this is the most beautiful car I've ever seen and I, I just fall in love with it I don't have that with the Audi R8. It also has to do with the name, of course. Owning my own Lamborghini is like a dream. Owning my own Audi, well, that's just an Audi. Eh? Uh, so, so that's that's really cool that I can say that this is my Lamborghini. Uh, that feels really good. So I've I've also had a lot of doubts to buy this car. Um, just financially, it's not really like I could buy a lot of Bitcoin and NXT with uh, seventy thousand euros. So. I will end up, um, this is a, a big opportunity cost that I'm paying as well. Uh, very likely this Lambo will cost me a lot in opportunity, missed opportunity. But at, at the other hand, I already have invested enough in Bitcoin and XT too. Uh, I will do very well if it goes up already. So, um, But for me, what scared me the most was I'm going to attract a lot of attention. attention. I like to live a little bit uh, under the radar because the moment you look rich you attract thieves uh, and uh, thieves uh, uh, that work for private uh, but also thieves that uh, work for government and uh, and so yeah the tax uh, man will uh, uh, see that you have a Lamborghini and then you get just an extra inspection that's how these guys work and so it's gonna cost me uh, on that front also but yeah for me uh, you know I don't no, yeah, I want to enjoy life, and 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 um, and that means that you have to take this thin. I mean, if you want to enjoy a beautiful car and 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 have the pleasure of owning it, have it at your disposal every day, it's 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 a lovely thing to if you can afford it to have. And uh, I'm not gonna let that go because they have a, a bunch of thieves uh, ruling the world. You know, I'm not gonna let all the fun uh, go for them. So, um, uh, so yeah, but yeah, uh, so that's a great deal in Europe. You can, the only problem is, of course, 
I do have to pay like 10,000 euro to the Belgian government to get a fucking plate from them. Uh, a, a, a plate. Uh, uh, so the taxes have gone up a lot because it used to be only 2,500 <laughs> and now it's 10,000 uh, to get your license plate. Because uh, it's not a. Uh, uh, that's what the, the excuse they use. It's not a. a, 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 a they put higher taxes on cars that are not friendly to the environment. Um, but of course they put the money in their pocket. Eh? It's not that they give it to, to plant trees or anything. Um, and then, uh, but still it's, 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 this is still actually a good deal because I live in Belgium. If you would live in Holland, which is like only 10 kilometers to the north from where I live in Antwerp, there they would, you would have to pay like double. Like to get that car on the road, you pay 70,000 dollars a euro to buy the car and then you pay another 70 by estimate a rough estimate just to get it on the road so you would have to pay like 140 150,000 in Holland to drive the same car so that's really crazy huh? um, but uh, insurance is also really good I can get Omnium insurance for 1600 euro that means that and normally it's just standard insurance that you, if you crash into other cars, the other cars are paid for, but not your own car, which cost me a thousand euro. But to have Omnium, so that your own car is also paid for, even if it's your own fault, I would only pay 1,600 euro per year, so that's a great deal. Um, so yeah. Um, I also think it's a good place to buy to have such a car here in Europe, in Belgium, because it's I, I, I'm close by everything. I can drive to Amsterdam in two hours. I can drive to Paris in three hours, to Frankfurt in four hours, uh, to Brussels, Bruges, Ghent, all very close by. Uh, I can do uh, European trips. Of course, you don't have a lot of luggage room, so it's actually more for short drives, um, unless I would drive alone and then can use the passenger seat for luggage um, and also I'm gonna make it a real NXT car so I'm gonna put a really beautiful uh, NXT uh, logo on this on the doors uh, in big and also I'm gonna and that's nice the, pla the plate the 10,000 euro plate you get from the Belgian government if you pay another thousand euro you can choose uh, what's on the plate and you can really be very free you can choose any combination and uh, so you can really put NXT only that as a number plate. So I'm gonna do that too, uh, probably. Eh? <laughs> so, um, so yeah. Um, uh, what else can I uh, say about this uh, bar, uh, this buying venture? <coughs> we're gonna go to the Lamborghini garage. We're gonna see the, also the. I'm gonna see the first time the Hurricane. Uh, Sony saw it, um, but I haven't seen it yet. And um, actually, I hope in the future that I would be able, if Bitcoin NXT goes up, I, I think NXT has a good chance because currently it's only one cent a coin. Uh, we were talking uh, together about it yesterday, but I think that when Bitcoin goes up from the current $240 to uh, three, four thousand dollars, then uh, it's a good time to uh, cash out uh, a piece, uh, a big piece. But with NXT, the same is true. But actually, I think and Sony thinks also that it will go up not times. 10, 20 like Bitcoin will do, but uh, four times more. So uh, times uh, from the current one cent to uh, 30, 40, 50 cent, half a dollar. Um, so that's not times 20, but it's times 40 uh, or times 50. Uh, that's the potential. Uh, and at that point, uh, I will also uh, sell a decent piece of my NXT, a big chunk. Uh, and also, uh, and and but also, I'm not done buying. I also will buy, uh, continue to buy NXT. Uh, currently, it's around 4,500 Satoshi, and I think that uh, when uh, as Bitcoin corrects from $200 to um, to uh, 2,000 dollars and recovers again, I will. Uh, I think that NXT will continue to go down, not in fiat, but in uh, Bitcoin, and so uh, instead of being 4,500 Satoshi, I think it will go down to 3,000 Satoshi. So I plan to buy some serious more chunks at 4,000 and 3,000 Satoshi 
um, and then when Bitcoin goes over thousand dollars, I uh, think that um, uh, uh, the altcoins uh, NXT especially will start to go up a lot in Bitcoin value from say the low of 3,000 Satoshi uh, uh, to 10,000 Satoshi or even 15,000 Satoshi that's the old all-time high and then uh, exceeding that going into 20 30,000 Satoshi so that's times 10 uh, or time, times 5 uh, times 5 to times 10 in Bitcoin value and times 30 to 40 in, um, in fiat value I think that's gonna be the case um, so um, and at that point of course it's a very good time to buy uh, 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 my dream well I, the car I'm gonna buy now is a dream car but it's a little bit old I hope that one day I will be able to buy the Lamborghini Hurricane Spider which will be released next year or this year end of the year and uh, which will cost uh, way too much money new uh, 250,000 euro probably uh, totally insane but if you have such a beautiful Bitcoin and NXT profits you can just buy it with Bitcoin or NXT and um, it's a very nice way to diversify your uh, money into pleasant toys uh, without going through the banking system eh? because if you buy a new car you can easily do that with uh, Bitcoin uh, straight from the dealer and uh, yeah, and the same with real estate, you can buy a beautiful real estate straight from uh, the seller with Bitcoin um, and you don't have to cash out into your bank account, which is great because then you get all kind of annoying questions uh, and maybe investigations and all that. Um, so... But of course, uh, having a Lamborghini here is also great uh, because Germany is so close by to Belgium and Germany really has amazing roads uh, to drive on uh, because not only on the highways but also on the small roads you have unlimited speed not in the villages but between villages eh? unlimited speed and that's a lot of fun is sunny yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's amazing and, and 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 that's very annoying in Belgium and Netherlands uh, you'd have these speed limits everywhere and cameras and you can't really like uh, go uh, 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 fast uh, uh, but you can in, in Germany and that's a lot of fun um, uh, actually in Germany is the cheapest country to own such a car because in Belgium you have to pay like 10,000 and in, in, in the Netherlands you would have to pay like 70,000 euro extra to drive such a car but in, in, in Germany it's it's not the case it's just the normal like 500 or 1000 euro to get such a Lamborghini on, on the road to get your license plate and so Germany is really great to buy supercars and to own supercars um, but then the disadvantage of Germany is that you do have high health insurance costs like you have to pay like 500 euro a month or so or 300 euro just as a minimum you have to pay and in Belgium you don't have to pay anything for health, health insurance of course it's government health insurance it's crap uh, but uh, well yeah uh, you don't have to pay extra for it uh, in Belgium and that's nice in, in Holland also you have to pay considerable per month for that extra on top of all the taxes that you pay eh? um, but uh, I'm still uh, loving uh, the US and I've thought about uh, moving there but yeah um, Europe has certain advantages that you don't have in the US and, uh, and so I'm planning to live my life in such a way that I, that I live a little bit everywhere partly in Europe, partly in the US Allez, as a tourist and of course just traveling around but it's really nice that in Europe I have uh, a nice uh, little condo with <coughs> a beautiful, uh, very modest uh, uh, no, not so modest, very flashy Lamborghini Gallardo Spider um, I also have a good garage uh, I'm, I'm renting uh, my uh, condo uh, very cheaply I think only 800 euro plus cost is 1000 euro a month and I have a 300,000 euro uh, uh, 350,000 almost and that uh, the, the value of the condo that I can rent for only 1000 euro everything included per month so that's a great deal and the garage I pay like uh, 120 for uh, just uh, per month 120 euro it's also a nice deal so um, yeah we're gonna speed a bit eh? yeah. feeling it yeah nice 200 uh, 
driving 200 kilometers an hour on the, the autobahn, eh? German autobahn. We have a lot of racers here. So yeah, I, I think I covered a lot of uh, information. Um, so I also publish another uh, video then uh, where I'm buying a Lambo. Uh, that's, that's for the next one. This was the background information. So uh, uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. See you later. Bye. You want to say bye, Sonny? Bye, guys. <laughs>